Disney pin trading is the buying and trading of collectible pins featuring Disney characters, attractions, icons, events, and other elements. The practice is a hobby officially supported and promoted by Disney. Many thousands of unique pins have been created over the years, and we're talking thousands upon thousands. I'm new to Disney pin trading, and I know how fun, exciting, and addicting it can and has been already. It's always the beginning of another adventure as I tear open that mystery pin pack like I have many times before, to discover something new to collect or trade with a friendly face or any of the cast members working at Disney. But I keep seeing these similar pins popping up and now I'm seeing them on almost every cast member lanyard or pin board. You probably have noticed them too if you're starting out like I am. They're oval shaped pins with a character on each one, such as the ice skater, cyclist, baseball pitcher, juggling clown, runner, the flying man, and a completer that I haven't actually seen in real life that must be harder to find being the completer, which is also oval in shape-ish, with people riding what looked to me like dolphins. At first I thought these were a bit silly, a bit cheap looking, and I wanted to trade them away quickly, and everyone I came across didn't really know where they were from. But then I met this cast member at Big Top Toys in California Adventure that shed some light on these odd pins. Turns out, these pins are actually based on the pinwheels in Goofy's Garden in Toontown at Disneyland. It was definitely an aha moment. I had to visit Goofy and get a first-hand look for myself on these hidden Mickeys. Yep, there they were at his playhouse right in the front yard garden. The juggling clown was there. baseball pitcher, the cycling woman, the runner, the fish riders, and a little further over to the side, the ice skater and the flying man. So now you know where these originated from. Maybe the next time you see them on a pin board, you might just have to consider owning this small collection as a starter base. I know I will. Thanks for watching.